Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. And here at ITW 2018 in Chicago, I am joined by my friends, Mr. Ray Lachance, CEO of ZenFi, and Mr. Enzo Clemente, CEO of Cross River Fiber. My friends, we go way back, and today is an exciting day for sure. ITW's a buzz with the news. Two great companies coming together. Tell us more. Well, that's great. Thanks, Jamie, for having us. Um, well, we're really excited about the opportunity to get these companies together. We've worked in the New York uh, metro market, the Jersey market, for years. We've had a partnership where we've actually connected our networks together uh, last year, and we uh, we started seeing real synergies in everything we were going, doing, and we decided maybe we should look a little deeper and see if there's an opportunity to uh, create a bigger footprint as a combined company throughout the region. And certainly those networks are so complementary. Yeah, they, they really are. And, you know, as, as Ray had uh, mentioned, uh, we, we created an interconnection. We've been working with each other as partners for many, many years in, in so many different respects. But um, I think when you look at our portfolio, we have some differentiators in our products, and we're excited to combine those collectively and offer them to our customers and you know, our growing uh, base. So it's, it's extremely exciting. And let's talk um, network infrastructure first. What makes this so unique? Well, one of the things that it, it gives us is geographic reach, right? It gives us a network across the, uh, you know, the five boroughs of New York, which is a huge, dense environment, but it gives us a uh, reach down in, into Jersey. So combined, we're going to have 700 miles of network, I think close to 50 co-location facilities and data centers on net, wow. and 130 enterprise buildings, and, and you know, not, and, and then we have our uh, mo mobility business where we're connecting small cells and we're closing in on 2,000 uh, sites connected to that, that piece of the network. So there's a lot of synergy and uh, certainly an expansive reach that we can offer new products across. And what does this mean for our wholesale community, Enzo? It's great. I mean, you know, when you think about the densification now that we've uh, created within the region between New York and New Jersey, uh, as Ray alluded to, we have interconnection to like 50 plus data centers. Um, most recently, we completed a connection down to Wall, New Jersey, which is, you know, tapping into the international community. So, um, you know, picking those folks up, giving them reach out to the, you know, the extension between New York and New Jersey, diverse, latency sensitive, all, all those buzzwords still apply. Um, and we're, we're builders, so the wholesale community will be able to take, you know, uh, advantage of this combined network asset. It's going to be great. Yep, and we're hearing a lot about that NJFX facility down in Wall, so great place to be, particularly for subsea connectivity. And um, uh, Ray, you touched on briefly your, your wireless community, your, 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 um, your DAS build-outs. Tell us about 5G. Sure. How sure. are we preparing? Well, this, this, is a, this is a great opportunity in the market today. The, the evolution of the wireless uh, infrastructure has uh, driven us to this environment where we need to densify, literally put antennas every and anywhere. So we, you know, when we founded ZenFi uh, four years ago, we had the uh, the goal of inserting ourselves in that ecosystem, supporting it through this new type of network build, uh, where we create front hall networks that connect the antenna locations to baseband processing, and allows the mobile operators to densify the, their networks. And we saw a huge problem in the industry: the networks that had been built in the past, legacy networks, just weren't suited for this type of uh, evolution that we saw coming. And so we spent the past four years building this. We've had great su success, and the uptake has been phenomenal. So 5G needs exactly what we're doing, and we're convinced that the legacy networks that exist today aren't suitable to solve that problem. Well, that's definitely the type of innovation needed to make sure 5G uh, hits home uh, in New York and beyond. So, um, uh, and Ray, in terms of dark fiber, um, how do you see the dark fiber continuing to play an evolution in, in the modern network? Well, so, so it's great, right? The um, we, wireless doesn't work without wires, and you need wires everywhere, right? So, so the goal is to get antennas as close to the user as possible, but you have to get high-capacity, low-latency connections to those antennas. The only way to do it reliably is with fiber. So the fiber networks have been built. I hear this all the time. There's fiber networks all over New York. Why do we need another one? Right. Because they weren't built. They were built to solve a different problem. And the problem that we're solving now requires a completely uh, rebuilt or overbuilt infrastructure that has high capacity and is highly accessible. And it's a, it's a great opportunity. Great point. Great point. Uh, again, two great companies, two great 
people and, and uh, your, your team, everything. Teams are, are amazing. Um, so the Zenfi Cross River Fiber uh, partnership really makes a lot of sense. Gentlemen, uh, it was a pleasure to have you here. Also, don't miss out. They will be at Telecom Exchange in June in New York City. Um, so hear more from, from these thought leaders there. So thank you, gentlemen, for your time thank here. You. Thanks, Jane. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.